Welcome back to Marketing Champions on Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host. We're talking about marketing around the country. And today we're in Wake Forest, North Carolina with Jeff Widener of Pop Mix Media. And Jeff, welcome to the conversation today. Good morning. How are you doing, Howard? I'm good. I'm good. We're glad to have you. So you've been involved in different ways within the marketing industry, and obviously you're focusing right now on recruitment of strong marketers for companies, but why don't you give us a sense of how you got involved in marketing in the first place? Sure. So I've been in the staffing area for about 25 years, and what I found was recruiters traditionally recruit one of three ways. They post a job on the job board, they search the job board, and then they sit back and wait for a candidate to find them, or hopefully they can reach out and find candidates on their own, right? Um, But this is massively inefficient, right? So what we're trying to do is make the best match between a candidate and the jobs that they're applying for or could be qualified for. So recruitment marketing became my focus about 20 years ago, and just engaging candidates in meaningful conversation about, you know, what is the best way to find candidates for a position. Trying to find a job is a very lonely experience. People are clicking on on ads, may not get any response. You may even interview someone and not get a response. What are the things you're doing for the companies to really find those good candidates that are out there and really nurture a, a relationship and pipeline? Sure. If you look at the traditional way, right, posting a job on the job board, text-based job descriptions typically don't give enough information about why a candidate would want to go work for that company, that department, or even that hiring manager. Nine times out of 10, that doesn't mention who the hiring manager is. Sometimes they don't even mention what the salary range is or where the position is even located. So what we've done is taken that text-based job description and turned it into a career webinar. So we talk to hiring managers on a Zoom call or um, you know, a webinar call just like this, and we talk to them about, hey, what would some of the background or skill sets that a perfect candidate would have? Why would a candidate wanna come work for your organization, your company, or even in this department? How, tell me about a little bit about your your background, your marketing, or I'm sorry, your managerial um, experiences, things like that. And this gives a candidate a lot more information so that they can make a decision on whether they want to apply for the job or even work for that company. It really is a two-sided process because the companies really are auditioning the same way as, as the, uh, the candidates are and not always are the companies really making that effort to provide that information for someone to make a judgment on them. So it's, it's good that you are, are finding different ways for the, for the clients that you have to, to do this. What, what are the biggest problems that candidates are really having to f- help them make the best decisions when trying to find a position? First of all, many of them don't understand the recruiting process to begin with, right? Most recruiters that are working internal to a company have 20, 30, 40 requisitions on their desk. And every one of those may have 100 or 200 candidates that have applied to the job. And that recruiter has to screen through literally hundreds of jobs or hundreds of candidates and their resumes to find the best fit for that position. So you can imagine the rec- recruiter is there to really screen out hundreds of resumes and get it down to a slate of three, maybe five candidates for that hiring manager to interview because we don't want to be wasting that hiring manager's time. On the flip side, excuse me, it's really difficult for that recruiter to make sure that they stay in communication with thousands of candidates every single week and helping then those companies set up some kind of automation so that either when the job is closed or filled or put on hold, that backwards communication through the communication channels takes place so that candidates aren't left wondering, hey, I threw my resume over the the fence here. Did it go into a black hole or what happens now, right? So explaining to them what the next steps in the recruiting process are, if they're qualified, if they're not qualified, dispositioning candidates properly and in a time appropriate manner is really important. And most companies are just not very good at that. It's, 
it can be overwhelming if you put a, a post up at the, I guess, the right time for you, but the wrong time because no one else is posting. You can get hundreds and hundreds of resumes that you have to figure out who is the best candidate and hope you're actually finding the best candidate in those that you've pulled out. You may have left them on the, on the table. What is, the, is there a special way that candidates who really are great fits for these types of jobs can make themselves better known to these hiring uh, professionals? I always recommend that, yes, they should go through the normal application channels because then you're a formal applicant. But I always recommend that they reach out to either um, various hiring managers in the department that they are trying to get hired into, or they reach out to a recruiter and try and find the recruiter that is responsible for the requisitions for that and just network around. Um, getting in front of and making connections and those relationships with the people that make the hiring decisions is critically important. If you want to be, you know, stand apart from the rest of the hundreds of other resumes that they get every single day. This is really great information, great guidance for people and for the companies who are trying to find the right process to find the right candidates. So we appreciate you joining us today and appreciate sharing all this vast knowledge that you have. Quite welcome. Thank you very much, Howard. And thank you all for joining us. Look, we've all been on, sometimes we've been on both sides, being the candidate and being someone trying to sift through all those resumes to find the right candidate. You don't want to make a mistake and hire the wrong person or make a decision on a company that, that's not the right match for you. So having the right process and having the right people involved is really important. Jeff has a great amount of information and insight. PopMix Media does a lot of great things. Learn more here on Daily Ad Brief. But go on, have a great rest of today, and we'll see you next time on Marketing Champions.